Yo, Future! So yesterday, Elon Musk from SpaceX announced his uh, interplanetary transport system. Basically, the plans to get people to Mars to establish a Mars colony. Holy Go and watch the two-hour presentation, or at the very least, watch the simulation. They've actually rendered the exact CAD models they're using to build these rockets, and it's a big fucking rocket. It's literally like the stuff of sci-fi. Like, while NASA's doing their little, like, close-quarter, you know, uh, sardine astronauts, this is like a big spaceship. This is the stuff you see in sci-fi. The spaceship and booster system is roughly about 120 odd meters tall, which is a little bit taller than the Saturn V or Saturn V that took humans to the moon, um, and it can carry 200 passengers. And also up to about 450 tons of cargo, and the cool thing they're going to do is they're just launching two of these. So they launch one with the humans on board and the cargo, and then they launch another one that's just full of fuel, and they refuel in orbit. And then because Earth and Mars are at their closest every two years, what will happen is they'll put as many ships into orbit as they possibly can, and then they'll all leave as a fleet at that optimal time. And then the travel distance from there ranges from 90 days to about 140 days, which he had a good point, like that's actually the norm back in the day, where you travel on a boat or like on a horse and cart for three to six months on average. But anyway, I don't want to rehash every point, go and watch the talk yourself. Um, one interesting thing that I thought to note was that he said that this would take roughly 40 to 100 years to create a self-sustaining city on Mars. Because the initial cost for each of these systems, the booster and the spaceship combined, is something like a little bit over half a billion dollars, which is quite expensive, so they're not going to have a lot of them right at the beginning. And you can only carry somewhere between 100 to 200 passengers at a time, so you need a million people on Mars, so you need to do a lot of flights for that to happen. And so I think there's three things here that we could maybe use to, to solve that problem, to solve that issue of like, you know, how do you get to a million people on Mars in the shorter time frame as possible, because 40 to 100 years is way too long. I think the first would be to have a policy that maximizes the birth rate, and this sounds a little authoritarian, but you, if you think of the cost savings of having children on Mars versus shipping them over, it's a lot. This is not intended to be misogynistic, purely just practical, but perhaps you have to enforce a rule where every woman on Mars has to have at least six to a dozen children each. The second option would be to offload as much uh, work on Mars to Earth, whether that's via pure kind of like grunt work or whether that's using robotics. Robotics are going to be incredibly important for Martians to augment and extend their productivity and their output in that harsh environment, but I think we can also do something where we have Earthlings control robotics remotely. The communications lag is definitely going to be an issue with that, but if you think about it, there's going to be an entirely new Martian economy, and there's going to be a massive sector of the Earth economy that is built to service the Martians. And the third option is a little out there, but basically we could just clone and grow humans in artificial wombs. This sounds crazy sci-fi, but I mean, we're going to fucking Mars and setting up a colony, so why not? Once the transport issue to Mars is sorted out, the next big step and the next big risk is getting it as quickly as possible to a self-sustaining population so that it can survive regardless of what happens at future.